Today I've got another fun video here for you. This is on my Galaxy Note 3 and I'm going to show you guys how to install a ROM in SafeStrap. Uh, so if you've seen any of my other videos you've seen that SafeStrap has been out for uh, a little while on this device and has actually been updated to uh, a new version. So let's just go ahead and show it to you. It is SafeStrap 3.65 and now everything is fully functional on SafeStrap along with their reboot to recovery feature. So, all that being said, I booted back into my stock ROM slot here. And I just want to show you, we're going to install uh, Beans Build. So, I have it downloaded and it is right here. And I'll just show you. Right there it is. Uh, Jelly Beans dash B1 Zip. And this is uh, done by Beanstown, a real cool developer, and he's got a lot of fun tweaks and features in this uh, ROM. So there it is, it's downloaded, I just wanted to show you that it is downloaded, and it's on the device. So other than that, we're just going to go back into SafeStrap. So make sure you download that. Make sure you guys have plenty of space. Um, where am I going to look at here? Settings. Just make sure you have plenty of space on your device. So we'll go to storage and we should see what we have so we have available space of 17 uh, gigs right there on my device right down there at the bottom so it's really important to just have plenty of space because this ROM I would probably make a 6 gig ROM slot when we do this so you got plenty of space there um, if you don't know what I'm talking about and I'm already lost you if you don't have root access you don't have safe strap you don't have any of that stuff for installing ROMs watch my other videos uh, on this device on the playlist on rootjunkie.com or on YouTube either one will work fine um, so we've got everything we need. We're going to go ahead and go to Safe Strap and just hit uh, Reboot to Recovery. Once you have you know Safe Strap installed, that's really the the biggest thing you got to do. Um, you do have a custom boot logo right there, or boot animation, not animation logo, I guess, uh, because you have root access. So you do have a custom status on your device with Safe Strap and root on it. Uh, but this is going to boot you right into Safe Strap. And we'll go through the install on this device. Okay, so here we are. Uh, which first thing you got to do is create a ROM slot. So you go to Boot Options. Now you can see I already have Beans right there on the top. That is this ROM actually already installed. But just to show you the full process, um, you're just going to go to a ROM slot, and you're going to set up the size. I'm going to leave this how it is. If you're going to use this as your main ROM, I would go ahead and increase the data size right here. And you can see how much right here you have selected space. How big you're creating the ROM slot and free space on your device. So you can only install stuff up to the size of the ROM slot you create. So just be aware of that. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and hit create. And this is gonna take about five, hmm, yeah, probably five to six minutes to make it. And then we'll come back to it. Okay, so our uh, ROM slot here has been created. It's, see it's in green right there. And it's ROM slot two. I would go ahead and click on it and then set a nickname and we'll call this one, I'm just going to call it test, but to call it whatever you want to call it um, so you understand what it is, hit go, then go back, and it says test now. So this is so you know what, just how you're switching between, you know, I've got beans right there that I've got all set up with my stuff, I've got stock over there, and then there's another ROM. So you can have multiple ROM slots on this device because you have a 32 gig internal, there's plenty of space to make them. Um, so, you got your ROM slot, it's activated. So we're going to go back. You can see at the top it says ROM slot 2. Now anything you do in here to your device will be done to that slot. If you were re overriding the slot with a different ROM, you'd go to wipes and you do your, your wipes on the slot. Um, so I'll just do that for the sake of it. We'll go ahead and hit wipe. And there you go. You have a clean ROM slot to install everything to. Uh, then you go to installs. And we're looking for that file and it's going to be in my internal storage so I'm going to go to internal and it should be in downloads go to downloads and beans there it is and go ahead and swipe it across so again it's going to be about two three minutes and this is going to install and we'll reboot or we'll we'll finish the process here okay so our um, ROM here has installed at this point you can just hit reboot system but I just want to go back and show you um, back in here in your main your main screens. So basically, the way Safe Strap works, in case you don't have any cat and haven't understood it yet, is is this boot options here is these ROM slots. The whole point of them is that you're not doing anything to your stock system. You can always come back here, hit activate, go back, 
everything's in red reboot system you'll be back to your stock system exactly like you left it um, but if you come in here and you get to a ROM slot and you activate now you're gonna boot to whatever custom ROM you've installed on that ROM slot so that's really the, the point of it is that you're not messing with your stock system at all when you're on that system and it's in red and your settings you know wipe and install I never even don't even install anything on there just leave it that's kind of the beauty of safe strap um, so there you go we got the ROM slot we'll go ahead and uh, go to reboot system and it's gonna boot into ROM slot 2 which is called test which is the new ROM we just installed uh, Jelly Beans B1 build so um, basically I'm gonna go ahead and let this thing boot up you can see we're on a safe strap it's in green here not red and we're gonna show you the boot animation let it boot up I'm gonna skip through some settings really quick and then just show you the ROM and some of the fun customizations on it there it is that is the boot animation on Jelly Beans ROM by Beanstown very very cool we'll wrap this and get back to once I get through the setup uh, here we go guys I fully booted up and went through some settings uh, set up stuff right there really quick and we got the thing booted up so as you can see this really looks like stock um, touch whiz basically uh, but I will show you the customization and that makes it so fun and one of the things you got already right here is you can see that the battery right there is themed and has a percentage built into it so that's one really cool quick thing you can see um, this all looks fairly stock here let's go ahead and actually just really quick look at the applications again stock you can see uh, an application that was added was this pop-up browser super user torch clock those are all going to be added applications that didn't have on the stock device also ES file explorer my absolute favorite file explorer is in there very awesome I always download it anyway so in the ROM just makes it easier flash player and terminal emulator so you have all those applications that are pretty much extra that you wouldn't see normally on this device um, and then you know all your widgets and all that kind of good stuff so it is very quick and snappy uh, nice nice uh, device right there so let's go into settings and let me just show you the rest of this looks all pretty pretty uh, standard go into about phone this is based on right here the MJ7 build which should be the newest build at this time on the Note 3 and the other thing in settings that I want to show you and what really makes this fun fun is custom settings so custom settings is uh, loaded with all kinds of goodies that makes custom rounds pretty much custom pretty simple right there so um, let me just kinda go through it so you have Jelly Beans OTA slash add-ons and there's a bunch of cool stuff in here you know I would recommend uh, actually donating to him because he does do awesome work on a lot of devices and a whole bunch of mods and extra applications you can install just it kinda goes on and on actually uh, settings in there custom app settings one of the things that I can uh, show you got Pi controls multi window manager S Pen stuff uh, media scan GPS fix whole bunch of nice things uh, set into there as well this would be one of the ones the things that I thought was um, kinda cool you can hide some icons uh, status bar colors you can do that and do like transparent uh, different different goodies like that that make make these devices really cool um, how about this one you have uh, lock screen torch long press volume up key with screen off um, I think this is kinda cool you can put it set how long you want it I just like this because I do use my flashlight on this thing actually quite a bit it's kinda of funny um, because of what I do for a living it comes in handy when I forget to grab my flashlight out of my truck so <clears throat> what you can do I'll just show you that one really quick is turn off the device just hold your volume key and the light turns on and it'll go on stand for about a minute because that's what I set it to or if you want to turn it off earlier just hit your power key and the light turns off and you can re-unlock the device uh, so I, I just like to I like these little you know tweaks like this I think this is what makes makes these devices uh, fun so you've got all that you can see this kind of stuff in here different little 
little tweaks and things like that. You also have Expose is already pre-installed and all of its fun stuff and theme engines and all of its all of its customization is very easy to access and do through the custom settings right here. So there is more with uh, customizing stuff for your processing speed and stuff like that. It's all in here. Uh, but that's pretty much the only real big difference with this device is those custom settings and the fun stuff you can do in it. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, as always, hey, check me out at rootjunkie.com right there. I'll give you links to everything in the video description. And we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out.